What's up guys, it's me again, the Airsoft and Ginger, and I'm going to make this gear lover review as short, sweet, and simple as possible. First, let's start with my helmet. The helmet I'm wearing is a replica fast bump helmet you can buy at most any airsoft store. Um, on it, I have all my Hello Kitty badges. Um, just started collecting them at Airsoft Extreme in Sacramento. I have five. I like them, I think they're cool, unique. Um, on the front of the helmet, I'm rocking my original GoPro. Got it for like 120 bucks at Target one day. That's what I've been recording my videos with. Got my GoPro up here, got my Brand Exploder um, GoPro mount, or NVG GoPro mount. Uh, attached, I have a charging cable that goes into this TNVC Mohawk replica, replica Mohawk counterweight pouch, something like that. Um, in here, I'm going to be putting a battery charger, or a portable charger to charge my GoPro throughout the, the operation. Down here, I have a electric battery powered chem light basically, so you turn it to the left, or turn this one that makes it green, turn it off this way, nope, other way, makes it red. I'm going to have this for the low light situations for a, as a dead light uh, when you can't see anything, so that's why that's there. Um, otherwise, there's not much else on the helmet. Uh, my lower face protection is a, what is this? The TMC One Tigress replica mask in AOR one or two. I don't know. It works. It's soft mesh sided, uh, hard mesh middle. So yeah. For my eyewear, I'm gonna be rocking my YVX Boss sunglasses with a foam gasket for full seal. Um, to work with their full seal eye pro rules. That's great. On the back, I have the like an elastic head strap that came with it, just so it stays on my head. Um, yeah, they work. Um, it's an amber lens, so it's going to be kind of dark for running in and out of buildings. But with the outside play, it's, it's fine. As a backup for low light situations or if it gets close to night on day one. I do have a pair, assuming this is the right pair. Yep, I do a pair of Smith Optics uh, venting goggles. They work, they're not the best. They're gonna fog like crazy. Um, they have these holes up here in the top, I don't know if you can see, but there's holes in the top that for when you're moving and running around, it lets air flow into your goggles preventing fog. So they work in that sense. The moment I stand still, they fog like crazy. We're gonna wait down further, got my plate carrier. This is a LBX 0300 in the mask gray color scheme. Um, mag pouches are the Blue Force Gear 10 speed whisper mag pouches. They're the ones that are the elastic mag pouches basically. So it's elastic when there's a mag in there, it form fits in the mag, pull the mag out, you lay it nice and flat. I prefer these over the tacos and other ones because it lays flat, so I'm not bulging out any further than my gut that already is. So, I keep it nice and low profile. Um, for comms, I'm running a Beofan UB5R and this LPX radio pouch and Project Honor camo. Um, UB5R works great, like 25, 30 bucks on Amazon. Prime shipping, I'm pretty sure too. So, great product, highly recommend it. Uh, for my speaker mic, I'm running the Code Red Signal 21. I think it's Kenwood pin, the Kenwood two pins for you uh, for the bear fangs. Running that attached to it, I have the Junior Tango earpiece. I probably won't be running this for Copperhead, mainly due to I want to have the audio from comms really under the cameras. Basically, further down my plate carrier, I am rocking the Ferro Concepts Dangler pouch. Um, it just Velcros onto my plate carrier right here, and then this front flap folds over it and stays still. Um, I've been using it for a couple months now. 
well, eight months at least now. Um, I, I loved it. Works well. It stays still. It's normally where I hold my pistol since I don't have a holster for it yet. But, I mean, it works. It's a wonderful pouch. In it currently, I have a Leatherman multi tool. I have, let me put this back correctly. And then I have a pen and a sharpie for writing on writing notes, writing on the map, whatever it may be. That's all I have here right now. Uh, for the event, I'll be throwing smokes, EG67s, whatever else I need in this pouch. It's a convenient pouch right here on my person that I can easily get access to, thanks to this remove before flight tag I bought off Amazon for like three bucks for like a three pack. So, good deal. Definitely got inspiration from Airsoft Alphonse for this. I know he rocked some of these tags on some of his gear. And I thought, it looks cool. I might try it out. And it actually works really well. So, that's the front of my plate here. On my right side, I have nothing. I am right hand dominant, so it's easier for me to have nothing on my right side obstructing the movement of my arm. This might change. I might end up putting a double stack M4 mag pouch with two of them right here to hold my pistol and maybe an extra smoke or water bottle for the field. Um, on my left side, I have this carabiner uh, loop through the molly that's holding my gloves and a barrel cover I needed for Oregon Airsoft Arena that one time I went. So now it just stays on my gear and there's a battle buddy. Uh, the gloves I am wearing are some specialty, what were they? Uh, the Mechanics wear specialty vent gloves. Um, super thin gloves, nice leather padding on the front. Um, they fit really nice to my hand. Um, comfortable, easy to wear. And they're pretty durable, surprisingly. I beat the crap out of them for the most part. And they still hold up, although this event may be the last event I use them. I might have to go up and buy, go ahead and buy a new pair, so we'll see. Um, further left, like I said before, is my LBX radio pouch that's holding my Beofang UV5, UV5R and the dead rag currently. Further back, I have just an M81 woodland pouch. This is where my medic bandages are going to be. For AMS events, you need two ACE bandages. It's those elastic bandages that you can just you normally use for sprains and stuff. Two of those perfectly fit right in here. I keep it open and middle crow chef this little middle crow tab. I haven't lost them since. I've kept it open for the last three years of play. I haven't lost an ace bandage yet, so it works. Um, on my back, I am running a Pantac mini map. Um, I've had it for quite a while now. In it is going to be my uh, tank for my Polar Star Mark 18, which is going to be the main gun I'll be running the, uh, at this event. Um, I'll have my tank in there, uh, extra mags that won't fit in the immediate vicinity of my uh, play carrier, uh, speed loader, water, snacks, usual you know, some stuff, I guess. Um, that's basically it for the play carrier. One last thing before I forget, but before we move on to my uh, belt, pants, and everything else in the gear. Uh, my hydration, as you can see the tube right here, it runs into my back plate slot. It is the core performance ice plate um, uniform. I am rocking a LBX multi-cam uniform top and bottom. Uh, the top is actually really nice and comfortable. I got plenty of movement in my arms and shoulders going back and forth, up and down. Uh, it's very breathable. Uh, uniform. It's a 50 polyester cotton mix ripstop in the sleeves, um, like a polyester mix on the body of the shirt. Um, I think it's comfortable. All right, moving further down, I have my battle belt. The battle belt I'm currently rocking is a LBX assaulter's belt and came in. Um, I originally bought this because for the longest time I was rocking an M81 Woodland and an OD green top, so this kind of fit the green build. Um, it's pretty bare bones. I don't like much on my belt. It kind of adds weight and then it, fall, it weighs down my pants and my pants end up falling while running on the field and it's just a big mess. Right here I have two pistol mag pouches. This is normally where my pistol mags would go. Um, 
but my pistol I currently have is a TM MMP9L, long name after that. Um, only have one mag for it. I'm awaiting to buy two, one or two more mags, so it'll be going in here. In the meantime, it'll just be granola bar, maybe multi tool. I'll figure it out. Um, just to the left of that, I have my dump pouch, and in between the two loops for the dump pouch, I have a, M a single M4 mag pouch. Um, that's where my spare, that's where my belt mag goes. Just toss it down there. So the first one I pull and the one in the gun is empty. Um, it works, it's easy right there. Dump pouch is the same dump pouch I've been running for like the last eight or nine years now. Uh, it's a Condor dump pouch. It's super simple design. It works. It's big. I have set, I'm running seven mags. Fits all seven mags plus some extra. Um, the only modification I've done to it is these bungees right here. For those that watch T-Rex Arms videos or follow my Instagram or social media, you may have seen he came up with a dump pouch with a bungee system on them to strap onto your leg so that it holds your um, dump pouch closer to your body and not flapping around everywhere. So I saw that video. I thought I could do it cheaper and not have to buy a new dump pouch. So I did and it works and I'm loving it. It's a great idea. I highly recommend it. Over here, I would have a pistol holster, but again, I don't have a holster for my current pistol. Um, still working on that one. And when that happens, it's gonna go right here. Right. So for my pants for the event, and uh, for the belt, I am running the, again, the LBX Solver belt. It's an inner outer belt. This is the inner part with the soft Velcro side. The actual belt has the hard Velcro. And I'm running the LBX Assaulter Combat Pant, whatever they called it, and Multicam. Uh, there's plenty of pockets. There's these front thigh pockets. There's these, your normal, regular pockets. Your, uh, normal side cargo pocket, there's a pocket down here by the ankle for both legs. Um, that's about it. They're good pants, I like them. Um, comfortable. There's internal knee pad slots on the inside of the pant legs. So for my footwear, I'm gonna be rocking these Under Armour ball sets? Bow sets? I don't know. Um, been wearing these boots for a year, a year now, for airsoft solely. Uh, they're super comfortable boots, not waterproof, but you can spray them down with, um, uh, there's a, I can't be thinking of the name right now, but there's a spray out there that you can use to semi-waterproof these, just enough like rain and stuff, but any prolonged exposure to moisture and they will seep through. Um, otherwise, other than that, they're really comfortable boots. They got good ankle support and... Alright, so for Copperhead 5 this year, I'll be running my Polar Star Mark 18. Um, there's a full build list of it on my... I'll put a card here, wherever it pops up. I don't know anymore. Um, basic overview in, on it. Um, mock, uh, mock suppressor with foam inside so it does quiet um, the sound a Olight M18 Striker flashlight with an Olight 45 degree offset mount, a uh, run cam 2 with the brain exploder run cam mount, uh, flip up iron sights, grip. I have a Magpul um, Picatinny rail sling point on here for a, for a two point sling. Uh, T1 Red Dot, easy enough, I've had this for years. Uh, uh, Magpul STR replica stock, PTS grip, and a purple flat face trigger from uh, Airsoft Extreme. Uh, main body is a classic army, Apex Tactics Delta. So yeah, that has been my American Milsim Operation Copperhead 5 gear loadout. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and gameplay should be coming out hopefully soon after the event. I'll catch you guys next time.